ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of February. It's a cold morning, but the question is, will we have strong to severe storms tomorrow? Can the air recover and become unstable? Well, let's talk about it. Hey, don't forget, we're coming to Oxford this week. The Storm Alert 2009 tour rolls along. We get folks ready for the severe weather season, and we'll be at the Oxford Civic Center Thursday at 7. We hope to see you there. Look at the Gulf Shore Sky Cam this morning. That's on top of the Phoenix All Suites looking west. We watch that with interest because that's where the air will be coming from. And the dew point down there this morning is still 37, so we got a long way to go before we get dew points back in the 50s or 60s here. Here's our sky cam down in uh, Shelby County on the campus of the University of Montevallo. I was there yesterday speaking to a big group. And up in Walker County, a look at uh, Jasper coming from the sky cam on top of the King Building. Well, you can see the trough that's been over California is beginning to uh, move on east. Got some rain breaking out over Texas this morning. And we'll see how things phase up for tomorrow. But obviously no severe weather today with numbers like that. 25 for Muscle Shoals and Gadsden. Look at Tuscaloosa, 26. Uh, Birmingham, a couple of degrees above freezing, but uh, we'll warm up nicely today. Most spots should be close to 60 with a gradual increase in clouds. Uh, watch warning map this morning. We've got a variety of winter storm watches for the Rockies and wind advisories for parts of the uh, panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma. And again, uh, we'll see how things play out today. Late today and tonight, there's a slight risk of severe weather from uh, the piney woods of eastern Texas up to about Nashville and Huntsville. And again, that's really along the warm front that should be moving northward. And mainly that's for the probability of some hail with that. I, I don't think we have a big problem tonight. The big question is tomorrow. There's our risk tomorrow, a slight risk over all of Alabama. And really it runs all the way from New Orleans to Cincinnati. The core risk, the higher risk, is down there over the southern half of the state. Uh, uh, where there's a 30% probability of severe weather, and it's all dependent on instability. And again, I'm not totally convinced it uh, it's going to be a super big day, but uh, we'll take a look here. Here's the QPF graphic. This is suggesting rain amounts of one to one and a half inches here, and this is valid through uh, Saturday evening at six o'clock. And we've got a clipper coming in here Saturday, and that'll be another forecasting issue. Will that thing squeeze out some precipitation here? Uh, today, you can see we still have a northwest flow aloft, and we think today will be dry. But the winds do veer into the south today, so clouds will probably increase, and showers will be breaking out off to the west. Here's a look at tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. You can see that uh, northern stream trough digging down across the upper Midwest, vorticity coming along in the southern stream. This is at 200 millibars, jet stream level, screaming winds up there, over 130 knots in the core of that thing. And down below that, there's the surface chart. The main surface low is pretty far north. It's north of Indianapolis with a trailing front down through Memphis and Shreveport at midday. Uh, seems like the better window for any strong to severe storms would be after the lunch hour. Instability off the uh, NAM, and uh, I don't know, it's it's... It's kind of like the deal last week. It's, it's your typical early season system. The dynamics are good. The thermodynamics are not good. This is suggesting surface-based capes of around 500 to 750 joules. For a classic spring system, you want to see those things in excess of 2,000. And again, it just seems to me that the helicity and the better instability is not phased up. The uh, better helicity values are kind of pulling away to the northeast as the better instability moves in from the south. So... Um, it seems to me that uh, not everything is exactly looking good for a big problem tomorrow with severe weather. But as we all know, with thunderstorms, expect the unexpected. So we'll be on our guard one way or the other. And we think it certainly will rain. Uh, we'll see rainfall amounts, we think, of one half to one inch. Thursday turns cold. Look at the trough over the east. It's back. Cold air advection. Highs in the 40s with a strong north wind. Uh, this run not quite as cold as recent runs. Friday. Looks uh, cool and dry. Uh, early Friday morning, we should be down in the 20s. The daytime high around 50. And look at the, uh, the clipper thing, the, the Vortmax diving down the backside of that trough. Very strong. And the GFS continues to indicate 
the possibility of precipitation with that feature. And I guess you can't ignore it after a while. Clippers rarely produce a lot here because they just don't have a lot of moisture where they come from. And typically the Gulf of Mexico is shut down with the northerly flow of those things. But uh, this is suggesting uh, rain or snow. Uh, again, we'll probably, right now we've got sprinkles in the forecast. Let's look at the 12Z run. We'll drill down deeper and see if we need to up that a little bit. But one way or the other, I still don't think it'll be a super big problem. And then Sunday will be dry and uh, chilly. Sunday morning should be pretty cold with lows well down in the 20s. We'll look at next week. There's Monday. Rain begins to break out to the west. Tuesday, still dry here. Wednesday, the Gulf wide open. That suggests kind of showery weather. And finally, Thursday, the 26th, a, a cold front comes in and really has a hard time pushing through because of ridging. Uh, down to the south of here. So, uh, again, it looks like toward the middle or end of next week, things could be fairly wet. End of the forecast, this is the third, or I'm sorry, the fourth of March. Wow, we're getting to meteorological spring here. Polar westerlies are shifting north. And a little vort max north of here, and that's certainly suggesting no sign of any super cold air at that point, if that's right. And that's always a big if. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.